Hi guys and welcome back to Shroom Up. This is episode 5 of My First Grow and this is fruiting part 2. Basically we're looking at the second species or the second bag that I inoculated in comparison to the first bag. If you find this content interesting please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. As you can see this is the second species. It looks very different to the first species which is very golden. This one is more kind of albino and white. So we're going to be going over the growth period of this after the fruiting stage. Just as a reminder, I'm using the Shroom Tech all-in-one grow bags that comes with the spore booster. These grow bags do not come with any spores or liquid culture. You're going to have to do your own research on that. It's pretty straightforward to find any mushrooms that you'd like to grow in these all-in-one grow bags. Just as a recap of the previous episodes, in episode one, we injected the liquid culture into two Shroom Tech all-in-one grow bags. I decided to use a liquid culture because it's a bit more beginner friendly and has a higher success rate of inoculation inside the grow bags. In episode two, we did the break and shake where the mycelium had colonized about 20 to 25% of the substrate inside the grow bags. And as you can see, basically we just broke it up into kind of smaller chunks and spread it throughout the rest of the substrate and then waited for it to grow and colonize the whole bag. In episode three, we started the fruiting stage by cutting a slice just above the filter patch, as you can see here, about three inches in width to allow oxygen into the bag and that kickstarts the fruiting stage. This is a time lapse over five days of the first bag growing and fruiting, which is fantastic to watch. It's very alien and very kind of otherworldly. It's uh, very interesting to watch. And also it's kind of hands off. I grow other plants and they're very kind of hands-on and require maintenance every single day. But once these mushrooms start to grow it's pretty much just watching them in six hours eight hours 12 hours 24 hour periods the growth is amazing it's uh it's very interesting to watch this is the second species that we're going to be going over today in the fruiting bag too and as you can see it got off to a slower start the first pins were very kind of small spread out and maggoty and there didn't seem to be as much kind of activity in the first two three four days of the fruiting stage of this bag every time i checked in about 24 hours later i was expecting a lot of growth but basically it was very very slow to get going it took about another three days of me putting it into this tub and keeping it nice and humid and moist but there was you know a very slow start so it did say when I bought these liquid culture syringes that the second species was actually harder to grow and not necessarily a beginner advisable mushroom, but I didn't see any difference in the process of starting them, so I'm not sure what would qualify a harder one to grow. After a few days, we started to see some growth, as you can see here, but still a little bit slow. So. I decided that I was just going to basically check in in another day and if it hadn't grown any quicker in a similar rate to the other strain that I was probably going to take it completely out of the bag and place it in a different environment to make sure that it was moist. It was growing but just very 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 slowly it was uh, struggling to catch up whereas after about a week on the other grow, the bag was pretty much full, so definitely a slower strain to grow. I decided to take it fully out of the tub and cut the entire grow bag away at the top and give it way more air and allow myself to give it a lot more moisture by spraying it daily. I also decided to put it inside the small Vivo Sun grow tent that I had just to see whether it came out well or not. But as you can see, completely different grow, completely different looking species of mushroom, 
very, very different. So I can already tell there is a difference between the strains. This is my first grow. Two different strains, very, very different in the way that they grow. So something for me to be taking note of as a beginner that these mushrooms do not grow all the same. They are very beautiful to look at though, very otherworldly as you can see that it's got some really nice colours to them. But yeah, it's just crazy that these guys grow completely different to any other plants that I've grown. It's much more kind of you put the work in up front and then once they start to grow or fruit, it's just a case of watching them grow and they just grow and grow and grow. After about eight or nine days, you can see they'd starting to fatten up a little bit. This is 24 hours after being inside the small Vivo Sun tent under the grow lights. And as you can see, they seem to react better to having more light or direct light. So it was a good sign for me. I was checking in on them and I decided that I was going to not wait as long. So the veil that is under the caps, I didn't want that to split and drop its spores like it did on my other grow bag where it left this very kind of like purple kind of powder or purple powdery spores all over the medium. I wanted to try and avoid that. So I'd already decided that I was going to harvest this species a little bit sooner, not wait until it had actually opened up fully and dropped its veil and its spores. So I was paying close attention to the bottom of these, but very different looking species entirely. It's uh, very cute. This one's kind of cute. It looks a little bit more kind of like, I don't know, more kind of, I don't know, like feet or toes. <laughs> very strange. Every time I checked in, there was a bit of growth. It was less stressed to look in on this one because the growth was a lot slower. Whereas the first species was growing crazy quick within six to eight hours. 12 hours was massive growth. 24 hours was huge. Whereas this one is way slower, way more chilled out. I don't feel so stressed going to sleep that I'm going to kind of wake up and I've missed the stage that I wanted to harvest them at. So very slow growing, but this is my first grow, so can't really comment. There's a lot of factors that I should take into consideration. The temperature, the species, the substrate. There might be a lot more to learn as I get through these and get a lot more grows under my belt. But this species looks very, um, very, very different to the first species. It looks very kind of um, almost like toffees or some kind of food edible item doesn't look kind of real it looks um is it looks yeah it's just i don't know it's very hard to explain it doesn't look like uh, a real mushroom to me it looks like uh i don't know like an old lady's foot or something some toes i'm not sure it looks a little bit different it smells a lot different too this one's very kind of um sweet it's very sweet still a bit spicy and you can still smell the kind of you know that mushroom esque smell to it but this one's a lot more sweet so that's something to take into consideration as well, the smell of these. Basically, every 24 hours to 48 hours, I'm checking in, and it's a very, very slow grow. But they've started to drop their veils on a couple of the early mushroom grows there. The ones at the back, it's hard to have a look underneath there, but I feel as if we're getting very close to me wanting to harvest them. So I'm just going to wait another 24 hours from this period checking on them and I'm probably going to harvest them because I do not want them to drop their spores. So basically I'm going to harvest these the following day. This is 24 hours later as you can see has grown quite a bit but it kind of remind me the more I look at them it just reminds me of squashed toes. I don't know if you guys know what um, foot binding is but if you look into foot binding that's what these mushrooms look like to me some kind of like squashed foot. Yeah a bit weird. They smell very mushroomy now, very kind of sweet, spicy. The smell, it's not how you would imagine mushrooms to grow or not how I've become to associate mushrooms smelling. You know, when I buy them and cook them from the store, very different smell. Very interesting to look at these under the kind of 
macro lens here. As you can see, there's a detail on them, but very, 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 very unusual. It's very uh, strange once you start growing things that you look at plants in a very different manner. I had the same experience on the other plants that I grow as well. You start to look at everything just a little bit different once you kind of get the bug of growing plants or in this case mushrooms it gives you a different kind of outlook on everything that you see especially if you go for a walk in the forest so much growing under your feet it's uh it's crazy just to kind of think how much growing has changed my perspective on how i go out and have a look at nature but this looks like something I have a sci-fi movie. It almost looks like something that's on the uh, a moon landscape or a you know a planet landscape growing. It looks very alien, very kind of um, yeah, very otherworldly. You can just imagine little guys kind of like hanging around on this surface here as if it was on the moon. So very kind of interesting to see. Very strange and. Non kind of uniformed, they they all grow slightly different, even if it's on the same kind of species here. They do have different shapes to them. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I do appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to go over the harvest of this species in the other grow bag. It's looking good. Stay tuned for that. Bye bye.